Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing today's trading recap. And boy, did I screw it up again yesterday. Um, let's see. I think I got up to about 554 bucks and made a nasty mistake at the end of the day and uh, finished the day around two, I think it was 227. So lost uh, half my profits yesterday. But I was green yesterday. And however, today is disastrous because i'm red and i am down 369 bucks red day for me and i've wiped out um a good chunk of this week's progress with today and i'm just frustrated at myself and i i, I pulled some you know very new mistakes and pulled one of my bad habits of averaging down so let's just dive right into it. Yeah, down 369 bucks for today. Let me show you what a trade in. I'll show you kind of show you my progress here for today. Here's the chart uh, started in the green today, uh, going from 20 bucks up to 69 bucks. And from there made a horrible trade. And um, specifically on METX. And went all the way down to negative 544. And I was able to bring it up just a tad bit, but I took a ton of trades. And I didn't really get that far. So I took a ton of trades after that and worked barely uphill, just kind of sideways. And ended up at the end of the day uh, down 300, 369 bucks. So. You know, it's not the biggest loss in the world, and I can easily live with that, but it's still it's still not a good one, and it's on a pretty pathetic trade that I made. So let's talk about what I traded today. I traded METX uh, V. This one was, uh, it was actually WVVI, DLPN, and Pixie. Uh, traded Pixie a lot towards the end, towards the close. Some opportunities on that one, and I think I screwed that one up as well. But let's dive into METX, where I made my huge mistake here. So this was actually the first one I traded today and made some decent moves on it and got in the green on it. And then I f got to this one position where, let's see, where was it? Yep, um, I sold my last, let's see. I was kind of scalp trading all throughout this whole area. Uh, made one of my last trades at three or two thirty nine. Sold in there, and right after that, it um, went ripping down. And I decided to hop in. And I think the idea there initially was just find the dip and trying to sell it higher. Um, and you know it flushed pretty hard. So, anyways. I got in 230 at 234 and it just went further and it didn't as you can see in this area it didn't really curl back up it just tapped a few areas 231 a few times and then just failed again and so what did I do you know not good stuff so I started averaging down, thinking that there, there was going to be a curl in this at some point, and I just read it wrong. It was a mistake. And the other big mistake to that was just not admitting it and just cutting it loose. I should have just cut it loose. I would have been totally fine. Probably would have been green today. And um, instead, I, you know, uh, fought the emotions and just kept battling it and so um yeah i kept averaging down so i'm in my next ad i was telling myself well you know if it goes way i'm not gonna buy back in unless it goes way further down just to make a really good average price so that's what i did it just kept falling and falling and falling and i go well we're low enough now where you know to me it came attractive again to the buy-in super low and so i got in what did i do i got in at 213 and we didn't we didn't curl out of that we we consolidated and fell once again and fell right in this area and the thing goes on and i just 
keep pulling that nasty, nasty habit. And uh, add it in at 209. And boy, oh boy. Just shaking my head on that one. So anyways, uh, I accumulated all these different um, price points. And then, let's see. Yeah, 209. Thinking, oh, here we, we've got some consolidation here. And I will tell you, let me see the area. Where I got very pissed off. Yeah, I got in at two and nine at one point and, you know, kept dropping, drop, dropping. And we got to one point, and I think it was, I think it might have been right in here. This whole, I hope you guys can see this. As we just continue down, um, my idea was that it was going to bounce at some point. It was going to correct, maybe not by a huge amount, but enough to definitely get out on a on a in a decent position and we just never got it but it, yeah it kept falling and then there was this one area here okay the thing fell and i think it was man i can't remember exactly i thought it was uh was it 209 it was one of these areas is either this area or this area where Basically, I want to ask you guys if you've seen this before, the, um, what's called a hidden seller. So at one point, I, I swear it was around it was around the $2 mark. And I think it had to be, it had to be right in here, maybe about 11, 13. We had this Russian volume come in, basically. And it was towards the buying side. And which was kind of an indicator to me that we were potentially really going to have a good chance to break this area because it was just flatlining. And what happened was I saw all these, all these buys come in because I was watching the tape here and I just see all this green just start flowing through. But yet when I'm looking at the bid and ask here on the level two, there's no stacked up big seller order that I'm seeing at all. But yet all the screen is flushing through, telling me that a bunch of people are buying it, yet it's not breaking this area. And so I, you know, I initially thought, okay, here, here's a bunch of green, we'll break it. And we never did. And which indicates to me it, it had to be a, a hidden seller there. Um, because a lot of volume came in and a lot of green flowed through and it was just, it's just kept tapping that area and it never broke it. So most likely to me that that's a, um, in seller right there. That's the only obvious thing to me. So, you know, I was going to ask you guys if you saw that or not, but that, you know, kind of was a specific time and I can't recall exactly where it was at, but anyways, that's definitely happened before. I've seen it plenty of different times. And anyways, that got me frustrated. You know, when you can't see the, the hit, when you, there's a hidden seller, it's difficult because sometimes you think something is going to break a certain area. And when it doesn't, and you're not seeing any indication there that there's a big stacked up buyer, but yet it's not flowing through. You can tell there's, there's a hidden seller. So that just got me frustrated because it couldn't break it and it just kept fading. And... Damn, I, I had to be down like, I think 700 bucks at this point on it. And I was just waiting for an opportunity for it to curl and me for just to sell on a pop. And we never really got that. So uh, this was just a, a, sh a absolute shit stock. And the way I trade it was horrible, horrible setup. And yeah, it's a bad mistake. So that was my one big flaw today. And it cost me, you know, the red day. So I want to know if you guys traded this today. And uh, if you're red, if you're green, let me know. How did your day go? Because this one just pissed me off. And eventually I had to let it go. So let me get to the point here. I sold, ended up selling at, sold everything, 2,300 shares at 195. We finally got a little bit of a push. What was it right in here? 
yeah, I sold in there, and I'm glad I did because after that just dropped more. It did pop again, but then just faded more. This is just, oh man, what a just shit stock because we had a huge. I don't know. I was feeling good about it because we had so much strength on this thing. I had a lot of growth. Um, we had some decent pullbacks, which I thought would have helped, you know, maybe give it another nice leg higher, and it just didn't get there. And um, when it faded, it drifted off right back where it was. So, uh, you know, now it's definitely red on the day. And that was my one big mistake for today. So let's dive into the other trades real quick before I leave you guys. I traded, what else? WVVI was another one. This one was difficult too. I mean, look at this. Um, huge run up, complete fade, going absolutely backwards, back even lower than it was before. Um, then it kind of consolidates here, run, has another run up, and doesn't retest the highs, but you know goes maybe halfway a little bit more, fades again, uh, eventually consolidates, goes back up, retests the highs, kind of 1640s area, and fades again, and then so you kind of got this flat top triangle area going on, and I'll tell you what, I traded it a few times. Um, couple of different scalp trades uh, towards some of these highs, looking for a breakup higher, never did. And this area was actually really interesting to me. I was possibly thinking about hopping in somewhere in here to kind of retest the area, retest the highs. And I am so glad I didn't jump in for that trade. I just decided to sit on my hands and the thing just ripped through to the downside and went right into the trash and a huge sell-off i mean after those big red candles right there probably a lot of people got trapped and they just decided to start cutting losses then the thing just oh went right into the trash can so <clears throat> you know i don't like to see this uh i mean you're going to see it for sure but uh, i don't like to see this in the sense of like momentum because as soon as you see stocks you know make moves towards towards the high areas here but can't break it and eventually breaks down completely and just go reversals and goes right into the trash you know that's not necessarily good for a lot of other stocks as far as you know sympathy moves go so uh that was that was difficult too let me know if you made if you made money on wvvi or if you lost money i want to I want to know in the comments, so let me know. Um, Pixie. Let's move on over to Pixie. This one I was actually doing pretty well on until we got to this area here. Um, Pixie made this awesome run up, and I hopped in uh, for, I think it was one or two trades on the move up here, which was great, and... However, it collapsed pretty hard, really hard. And, you know, this area was very interesting. I was, I was really looking to see if maybe we, in this area, we might curl back up and retest some of these areas and then break through. And I'm glad I sat on my hands on this area because it just faded more. And that was, seemed like it was kind of the theme today for a lot of stocks, just, um, you know, making big moves up and then having really negative downsides on the backside. So this one, you know, fell quite a bit and consolidated, went sideways, and then eventually started curling up. And so I started getting in again back in this area, and I got a bunch of scalp trades in the 350 area, and I was just pissed off at myself because I thought it was going to hit the 350 area or the 360 area, you know, pull, pull the whole U move where it goes, you know, up high here, trends down, does the curl, comes up and goes right up to that point again, that same high, maybe breaks a little bit past it and then just fades again. That's kind of what I was expecting. So I sat on my hands here and 
Uh, I just got FOMO because the thing broke 360 here and just boom exploded. And I missed that entire move from 360 all the way to 385. 25 cents there. I just, uh, it killed me. So I wanted to, seeing that strength, I wanted to see if I could maybe get in on a dip on the backside, maybe for a curl up. And this one was just a whole another horrible move. Uh, I did get in, uh, had a nice little scalp trade, but then I, uh, I think I made another mistake back in here. And yeah, so today was just absolutely, um, it was a rough one for me. It's a red day and it's not, it's not detrimental, um, to my training. It's, it's a huge hit for sure for this week. But it's something I can I can get over with. I can get over it. And, you know, it could have been way worse. It could have been up in the 700s as far as the loss. Um, I think it was just my, my share size that helped me out. And eventually, you know, with METX, finding some place to, to cut the cord and cut the loss on it on 195. We did get a little curl on it, so I'm glad I... Got out of it on the pop, and I'm so glad it was that area because as you can, it just didn't continue. You know, we got a curl and faded right back down to nothing. But this was just a BS stock to me, and I don't know. I was chasing my tail on it. Not fun. So here's this week. Uh, Monday was 46. Tuesday 174. Yesterday was 227, and today is 369. So my biggest um numbered day for this week still sitting up 78 bucks which is nothing so i've really got to perform tomorrow um i gotta do really well and if the market is not headed in my direction it's not going well i just maybe i don't need a trade for tomorrow um but yeah it was you know you're going to have the red days. That's a, that's a given thing. And today is the fourth, makes it the fourth red day of the month. I've had 12 green days this month. And um, trading this month has just not been, not been good for me. Very choppy, very slow in a lot of areas. But anyways, guys, I want to hear from you. That's my recap for today. Let me know how you did. I'd love to hear if you, if you did. If you're green today. Are you green and did you make some good money or was today a struggle uh, similar to mine where you just beating yourself up and making all kinds of bad moves and bad mistakes? Uh, how did you fare in this market today? Love to hear from you guys. So that's it. Take care and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday, last day of the week. Let's try to make it green. Let's do it. See you guys then.